Uh, they've got quite a bit of snow up there on the mountain. Yes, all the rain that fell yesterday into puddles for us to drive through in the city turned to snow in the mountains. So that was something to look at positively yesterday. Timberline got about 10 inches of snow, seven new inches of snow in Mount Hood Meadows, and about an inch for both Ski Bowl and Bachelor. But here is a look at our conditions for today. We do still have a winter weather advisory in effect through 10 o'clock this evening for several inches of more snow above 4,000 feet. So in the ski resorts above government camp, just be aware if you are traveling over the Cascades either way today you will be dealing with some winter like conditions so reduced visibility and difficult travel here is a look at the Doppler radar we've got a low pressure system continuing to sweep through the area bringing us some instability a few thunder and lightning strikes as well as a lot of moisture especially to the western side of both Washington and Oregon pretty dry up towards Madras and Pendleton maybe a few little snowflakes falling near the Madras area but the scattered showers have continued through the Portland area we've seen several waves of some strong showers moving through currently pretty dry. We are seeing more rain out towards Gaston and Banks slowly moving through the Portland area. We've got some scattered showers out towards Mount Hood this afternoon. For the rest of the day, some steady showers move through the region. We see more mountain snows. Showers start to move out towards Pendleton, maybe a few snowflakes down towards Bend. Possible thunderstorms potentially into the valley this afternoon, but we'll be watching that. Nothing too severe, and we won't really see that out along the coast either. Just maybe a few strikes of lightning. Scattered showers do continue Thursday and into Friday, but the good news for Friday, even though we start off a little bit uh, on the wet side, we start to dry out by the afternoon time into the evening hours. We start to see clearing conditions and check out Saturday morning. We are looking at sunny conditions, so if you have outdoor plans, Saturday is the day if you don't want to uh, have to use the umbrella. Your forecast current temperatures in the mid 40s for Portland as well as Astoria, upper 40s for the Dallas and Pendleton, low 40s for Ben. Your forecast winds, it's actually a little bit breezy out there, nothing too strong, but sustained winds are on 18 miles per hour in Portland, 10 to 15 in Salem and Eugene. A little bit calmer along the coast and a bit breezy towards Redmond and Madras this afternoon. Now your forecast for the rest of today, temperatures in the upper 40s, still chance of thunderstorms along the coast, gusting near 25 miles per hour. I-5 corridor, scattered showers. We may even see a few sun breaks continuing through this afternoon. We've already seen some and a few rainbows there as well forecast in the upper 40s. Eastern and Central Oregon, a mix of rain and snow. It won't be anything too major, but we'll definitely see a few flakes fall in some of those cooler spots. And the gorge today, mid 40s, west winds 5 to 10 miles per hour, cooler day, snow level at government camp around 3,000 feet. So potentially four to eight inches of snow and breezy as well. Now your forecast the next seven days, scattered showers continue today, decreasing showers for Friday and some dry time and some sunshine back in the forecast. Rain returns, though, for Sunday into Monday. So that's what we're watching. Uh, not too bad for Saturday. I'm kind of excited to get mm -hmm. outside and not have to wear the raincoat. Yeah, absolutely. For one yeah. day. Just for, yeah. one, just for one day, yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Give it a day to dry off. Exactly. Yeah, thanks, Claire. <laughs> we'll be right back with a look at the story.